Okay, in this video, we are going to prove that PTS and graph is non planar. Okay, so, we are going to use a Grotowski's theorem to prove that the PTS and graph is non planar. So, Grotowski's theorem says a graph G is planar if and only if it has no subgraph homeomorphic to K5 or K3. So, that says okay, if a particular graph it has a subgraph that is homeomorphic to either K5 or K33, then definitely the graph is not going to be a planar graph. Okay, so, we are going to use uh, this to prove that the Peterson graph is non-planar. Okay, so, here we can see that if you look uh, at this graph, the Peterson graph, it is a 3 regular graph and K5 is a 4 regular graph. So, that says, okay, it would not be possible to find a subgraph of Peterson graph that is homeomorphic to K5. Okay, so, that says if it, this graph is non uh, non planar okay, then there there okay, this graph it has a subgraph okay, that is homeomorphic to k33 okay so that is what we are going to look for so we are going to look for a subgraph in this particular graph okay, that is homeomorphic to k33 okay so that says the this graph the peterson graph it contains a subgraph that is homeomorphic to k33 and we are looking for uh, that structure to extract that particular subgraph from uh, this Peterson. If you are able to do so, then we can say that the Peterson graph is non-planar. Okay, so so the Peterson graph. It contains a subgraph. That is homeomorphic. K33. So, if you are able to uh, okay, find such a graph that is homeomorphic to K33, then by Grotowski's theorem, Peterson graph is non planar. Okay? So, first we have to find a subgraph here. So, let us choose, okay, so let me delete two vertices from this thing. So, we will get a subgraph. Then, if you are able to uh, show that that subgraph it can be obtained from uh, k33 by a series sequence of elementary transformation then that's enough okay so okay so uh, let's delete these two edges from okay, this graph okay so now we have a subgraph of a Peterson graph. So, let us look at this particular graph and try to extract a structure which okay, that, that looks similar to a K33. Okay? So, let me consider the, these vertices. Okay, so, okay, so, let me make this okay, these three vertices 1, okay, 9 and 8 as red vertices okay so this is going to be like okay 9 1 8 so we are what we are trying to do is we are trying to look at structure that looks similar to a k33 then okay after after finding that particular structure then we can argue that that particular thing it can be obtained from k33 by a sequence of elementary transformation so if we are able to show something like that then we can say that this graph it can be obtained from K33 by a sequence of eliminate transformation. And this graph, okay, it is a subgraph of a Peterson graph. Okay? And then we can apply a Kurtowski's theorem to say that uh, this graph is non-planar. Okay? So, let us consider these three red vertices labeled 9, 1, 9, 8. Okay? And let me consider three more. Okay? Uh, that is colored, say, blue. Okay, and let me color say 5, okay, these three vertices 5, uh, 6 and 2 as blue. Okay, so this is going to be 5, okay, 5, 6 and 2, okay. And let us look at this graph and see what is going to happen. So, here we can see that 
uh, from Nyan. Okay, we have uh, directed to six. Okay, so we can draw that edge nine six. Okay, and from one uh, we have okay these three edges directed one to five. Okay, one to six and one to two. Okay, so let's consider this eight. From eight we have a directed to six. So the situation is something like this. But here from uh, here we can see that there is no uh, direct path to five to vertex five from nine. Okay, but if you go through this path, okay, nine nine to four, four to five, okay, we can reach five. Okay. So that says we have this edge or this path going through for from nine okay and i think there is one more edge okay, one more path from we have to consider one more path to two okay that passes through seven okay so we can go from nine to two not directly okay using an intermediate vertex seven okay so let's consider this 8. So we have this directed from 8 to 6 and from 8 we can go to 5 okay using this vertex 10 intermediate one okay. So there is no direct path but we can use this intermediate vertex 10 to go to 5. What about going to 2 okay. So there is no direct path between 8 and 2 but we can use this 3 to get to 2 right okay so there were there is no direct path but using this intermediate vertex 3 we can go to 2 okay now we can see that okay this particular graph okay a re a re redrawing of this thing so what i did is i took this graph and redraw uh, this graph in this way okay so it looks something like a k33 kind of thing so here we can see that if you look at this particular graph Okay, this it can be obtained. Okay, this can be obtained from K33. So let me write down K33 here. Okay, so this is K33. So we have okay, these three, these three. Okay, and I think. So if you look here, uh, suppose that the labels are say, labels of the vertices are say this thing 562918. Okay, so here we can see that if you take this K33 and do okay this elementary transformation, delete uh, this edge 59, okay, insert a new vertex, call that 4 and these two edges, and similarly, okay, take this edge 92 delete that insert a new vertex and these two are just 9 7 7 2 and similarly okay take this edge 8 5 delete this one and insert this vertex and these two are just 8 10 and 10 5 and i think one more okay so take this edge uh, remove that edge insert this new vertex 3 and these two are just 8 3 3 2 okay so we get this graph so we can obtain obtain uh, we can obtain this graph from K33 by okay, those one two three four okay by those four elementary operations by those four elementary okay so that says. Uh, uh, this graph okay it is this uh, this uh, graph which is a subgraph of our original graph right uh, that is homeomorphic to k33 okay so that says the piston graph contains a subgraph that is homeomorphic to k33 okay therefore by uh, Kuratowski's theorem theorem PTSN graph. Is non homeomorphic.
uh, sorry it is non planar okay so this is how we show certain graphs are not planar so we were able to uh, find a subgraph that is homeomorphic to either k5 or k33 okay, then the original graph is not planar okay so here this Peterson graph contains a subgraph that is homeomorphic to k33 okay this particular subgraph that is homeomorphic to k33 okay and so that says Peterson graph is non-planar